In terms of an international spotlight, uh, you know, this is this is 2022. We're about a year or so out uh, plus from the 2023 World Cup. And on Portland, they've always been a team that's had a number of internationals in play, right? And we chatted a little bit already about who we thought is their biggest signing uh, in Hungita. But this is an area in which we wanted to maybe highlight a couple different players Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, qualifiers for World Cups. And we're looking at players like Christine Sinclair. And we're looking at players like uh, Rocky Rodriguez for Sinclair. Sinclair in, in particular, this is one of those players that when we were taking a look at Portland's offseason, while maybe this is a team and fans are looking at the club like, hey, like you didn't make like a ton of new, you know, big splash signings. I would argue that, you know, having the in, in, introducing uh, their Jap- they're now their their Japanese international in the midfield with us, Sugere was one of those big signings. But I would also include maybe like the re-signings that they yeah. made. Uh, for this club is pro- probably an essential part of the process. I mean, locking up a legend like Sinclair to ensure like this is going to be a player who will always be a Portland Thorn is going to be huge, right? And uh, I think this is a player that they will miss during uh, World Cup qualifiers. They will. And not only, I mean, looking at the re-signings, yes, Christine Sinclair is not going to another club, but she's also not retiring. They have her for one more year Um which, uh, of course, things can always change. But I think that was a big question mark for a lot of Portland Thorns fans. Will they see Christine Sinclair, who just won gold medal with Canada in the summer? Is is that the end of her career? But no, one more year. Uh, but yes, yeah, she's the international player that will be missing during uh, qualifiers this summer and, and CONCACAF W Championship that will be taking place. Yeah, you have to look at Christine Sinclair as a re-signing and as a huge international spotlight. Yeah, I'm also looking at Rocky Rodriguez for sure. This is the uh, Costa Rican international who is likely to be missing a number, perhaps a number of uh, games mm-hmm. with, with Portland Thorns uh, in light of Costa Rica uh, participating in what's going to be really soon some uh, qualifiers that are taking place in CONCACAF during the month of February. Uh, but should they excel and succeed within that preliminary round of, of qualifiers, there is the potential for the CONCACAF W championship qualifiers that take place in the summer as well. So there's a possibility that a player like Rodriguez, who is also another player that could be essential in that midfield, uh, could could be missing for a significant amount of time in 2022 as well. So I think talking about midfielders a lot, right, during this preview, uh, it's leading us to our biggest burning question entering uh, 2022 for Portland Thorns, which is who will be the key to Portland's midfield, Lisa? For Portland, they need to find stable depth at the midfield position, because as you mentioned, players like Christine Sinclair, Rocky Rodriguez, they could be leaving for periods of time for World Cup qualifiers and and CONCACAF matches happening. Um, even when you look at Japanese international, uh, they she could be leaving as well, Sungita. So I think it's finding the depth in the midfield for Portland because they don't have one player that can really dominate and, and do everything, which is what they had in the past. I mean, losing Angela Salem, losing Lindsay Horan, they create huge holes, which allows the opportunity for players like Olivia Moultrie to step in there and, and try some things. We've seen uh, Yasmin Ryan get spurts and minutes for Portland Thorns. I don't think she's going to be a huge factor for the midfield for them. Rocky Rodriguez, she's had some inconsistencies, but getting more time at the international level will hopefully bring her level and increase that as well. Um, Not having Crystal Dunn as well in the midfield. I mean, Haran and Dunn, all three of those players are out for this year. It's really... Who is going to step up? Who is going to be the engine in the midfield for Portland? I mean, in years past, opponents go into play Portland, and the biggest question mark is how you're going to get through the midfield, whether it's trying to possess through the middle. That usually doesn't work. Going up the flanks or just sending it long and trying to find your forwards over over the top line. I think for opponents, they're going to be – licking their chops to get through Portland's midfield this season. So if Portland can work their way around their midfield, find depth and consistency in that position that doesn't fluctuate game to game, they're going to have to do that in order to stay on top in this league. 
We'll keep an eye on it. We're going to be looking for the player to sort of grab that midfield right by the scruff and say, let's go. The projected finish in 2022 for Portland, again, just to remind folks, we did do a way too early power rankings early into the offseason back in December before a lot of these moves and additions took place. And we had uh, put Portland Thorns at a number three finish in our power rankings. So in terms of a projected finish now, as uh, off season has concluded and preseason is in full swing, I think that we're going to be sticking with this club as a top team still. Uh, definitely, definitely within the range of the top four and still maybe kind of ambitiously sticking with that number three standing, Lisa. Yes, this is a top four team. Um, I, I'm not sure if they'll get that top one or two spot, which earns them a first round buy. Uh, not sure if they'll win the NWSL shield this year being a, the number one team at the end of the regular season, but a top four finish for sure. They'll, they'll secure a playoff spot with a little bit of wiggle room. And I think that they'll, they'll kind of choose their own destiny towards the end of the season, which is something that Portland has been known to do. A lot of teams did not do that at the end of 2021, but I think for Portland, um, a top four range. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them third place projected finish for 2022 to end the season. 